Hey everyone, it's Peyton, Minnesota Farmer. Um, today I'm gonna do go over a little bit on our, or someone asked about our uh, bucket that we have on our payloader. So I'm gonna go over that a little bit today, and then also do some home chores here. So since I'm doing it by myself today, I thought, you know what? Today would be a good day to do it. So let's get into it. First, I kind of wanted to get into my rake a little bit today. Since I'm here today, I thought, you know what, might as well. So, no one's asked about it, but um, I just felt like talking about it anyway. So, Ogden hay rake, hybrid hay, hay runner. 12 wheel, it's got the kicker wheel. Um, now, that it's, uh, now that it's March, and grass is starting to, it's getting to start to grow again and everything. Been excited to get this thing out and um, do some adjustments on it quick before the season starts. I have to uh, take that, I can't see it. There's a spacer on there that isn't supposed to be there, but it is. The last guy had it put it on there, right there. The last guy had it put it on there and I'm guessing I use it for corn stalks. Um, I did use it for corn stalks this year. I don't remember if I took a video of it or not. I'm pretty sure I did. But, um, and it's for down pressure, but it just destroys these ends. So, I'm going to take that off. I'm going to get time and take those off. And then, that's pretty much about it. And then a couple little adjustments to get this thing, get the angles right. Because as you can see, it's kind of hard to see. This end is lower than that end. And I want to get this end up so then it's a wider spread and then we can use, it's easier to use on our um, for the swathers when we're raking hay. So which those cranks are just in the back here. And it's it's simple. I just gotta get them greased up. There's a crank on each side and a handle on each side. One of the handles that can't get out. But um otherwise, yeah, so I'm excited. I can't wait. Everything looks pretty good on it yet. Don't see any flat tires. So Last time you used this was in November. So, I'm excited, it'll be fun. Um, I've been, I got to use it twice last year and now I'll get to use it all summer. And then a little bit in the fall, so that'll be awesome. Kinda get, try to get it paid off. Not paid off, get it paid, pay itself off basically to where I, it, I've made the money off of it type of thing so but yeah we'll see hopefully we will uh hopefully we won't have any problems with it this year and hopefully getting those spacers out will be easy so but right now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some home chores feed pigs feed pail to the pit mama pig and the sheep and yeah let's get on our way well these pails are normally filled with corn today or not Obviously, there's some in there, but she needs more than that. So, I can't. We just take it out of that bin there. These pigs go in a week or so. There's only three left, there was 15. And then all this needs to get scraped out and dumped on that pile. Over there, I don't know if I can even zoom while I'm recording, I don't think I can, whatever. But, um, yeah, there's a little pile over there. I don't know if you can see it or not, you probably can. So, we will, uh, and then that's the stuff that's gonna get spread on my eight acres this year. So, that'll be nice. We have this gate here to keep the dog out so then the cats can have the trailer house. So, put this for that. So much easier to record with this thing with the GoPro compared to just my phone. Because especially with the phone, you can set it up anywhere. And not have to worry about it. You can set it up and leave it. This 
this is a lot better. I like it. Yeah, keep you out of here. So one thing I'm trying to get into is kind of like every instead of just YouTuber that posts or anything, there's something big going on. I'd like to do what kind of like what Sunny Farms do, where it's like they post almost every day. So I mean, it's it's um I enjoy that part. But for me, with still being in school, it's kind of hard to do that. But um, it's something I definitely would like to do. Compared to just posting when everything, when there's something big going on. Um, because the life, the kind of the main reason I made this channel was because I was trying to one, because I thought it was cool, but two, to kind of show people what smaller farming looks like compared to a lot of big farmers posting which there's nothing wrong with big grand farmers nothing wrong with it at all but i know there's people out there who like to see that smaller farming and want me my, myself being that too and it's i think smaller farms are are, they're not a bigger deal, but they are, are also a big deal because this country did kind of become possible on large farms, on smaller farms, compared to now where it's all the large farms kind of taking over all the family farms. Maybe that's way too much. And um, I think that's just smaller farms play a, bit, a very big role. And well, they, did. they did play a very big role, but now they don't as much. So I mean, it's um, it is sad to see all those farms go out and everything. So I think videos about small farms are better compared to large farms because you see large farms a lot more than you do small. Like driving down the road, odds are you're gonna see a couple big eighty. 8250s or S780s going down the road compared to a 9500 or like on the farm I work out a 2166 or a 2388 so I mean it's it's kind of that aspect is why I like to post that and I kind of enjoy it too but um it's it's the fun of it along with the truth of it I should say but um, yeah, so let's just feed and sheep some distillers. I probably got too much in there, so. Eva, quit barking at the sheep. She likes to bark at him. also like to say the reason that like I take so much video like this even just this small stuff because well like I said I enjoy it and then I like to have 10 to tw 10 12 15 minute videos compared to just a three minute video I think three minute videos are almost almost a waste of time in my opinion because it's just a th quick TikTok video basically not a TikTok video, but it's almost like a short and I understand the point of shorts but I also don't really like them at the same time I'd much rather post a 15 minute video than a 30 second video so but um I'm gonna throw this stuff in the back in the feeder that's why I was kicking around and oh here they come so I mean it's that aspect as well I like to do that, so. <laughs> Duff fall over the thing. So, he's sheep or my mom's sheep. Oh, I didn't even know I could pet you. <laughs> I didn't know you guys were even friendly. And I have just realized I am talking a lot. So I will stop that. I will start 
doing more chores than talking, especially in this video. E. Well, I thought right away while it's still laid out, I would talk about this bucket since somebody asked about it and they're looking for a bucket for their uh, 544. This is a 344. So, um, I, th I think we've had this payload for what, two, maybe three years now, if not longer. I think it was 2020, so maybe even four years. I'd have to ask my dad. But, um, the kind of basic, um, I don't remember what brand of bucket it is. Uh, this, I don't know really too much to talk about it, I guess. I mean, it's, these bucket, these uh, grapples don't lift up at the exact same time. Um, one will lift up, get almost up, and then this one will lift up a little bit more, a little bit. And then once this one's all the way up, then it'll, the other one will go. I can't remember. I think it's this one will go up first and then that one. And then same with, and then with going down, I think it's, I can't remember if it's this one or that one, but it'll go first, then the other one will slowly come, and then once that one's down, then it'll drop through. So, um, it's a good bucket. We do like it. Um, it's got, we haven't had any problems with it. I mean, I think we've, um, grease points all over. I believe it is a JRS bucket. I'll have to look it up. Um, but I mean, it's... Uh, hydraulics are like this. It's just a T. It comes through, goes across, it stays out of the way. Um, yeah, I mean, it's. I don't know what those are for, but. Um, it's. Uh, yeah. So, I thought I'd get that done first and then I'll start doing chores. So. But. Yeah. I'm just kind of looking around so the person who asked about it can kind of just get a good look at it. And then at the bottom maybe a little bit. There's those plates that are on the bottom. So it stays up better. It stays up by itself easier as well. So. But yeah, we've never had problems with it. It works really nice. And yeah. Good luck. Good luck to uh, keep... I, keep forgetting whose name it is keep luck to them who uh asked about the bucket on finding one for yourself so we like it and i think this one's kind of it's a smaller bucket and i think for 544 you could definitely have a bigger one on there so good luck so right away i'm gonna head up to the cattle yard um give you all a little bit better look on that how we have it set up now for our springtime setup type of thing if you want to call it that and um because before we have all the uh, all the bunks and everything out in the field, as long as all the, the red feeders and then the bale feeders. And obviously now, well, we could have them back out there, honestly. But when it got so muddy, we uh, we brought them back in when that big heat wave heat wave type of thing came. We brought them all back in and. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. Problem is now we have to be scraping and everything like that, but no big deal. Um, yeah, so got the four wind breaks up here and some dry area for these cows to lay. So this spot's never too dry because it comes from over here, runs down to the middle, but otherwise everywhere else is dry. So we, um, we still got a month a month and a half before we'll probably start calving we try to calve in may and we ai'd everything so hopefully that's when they do it instead of doing it late um we have three bunks set up in this row and then one bunk over there these are bottomless bunks um we like them a lot i know i do especially being a feed wagon guy and after this is what our child looks like now after um, spinning off oats alfalfa bales into uh, into our mix since we don't really want to grind anymore so we started spinning those bales off and the, it's from a new seeding of alfalfa, of alfalfa these guys that we're buying it from instead of combining the oats they will just um, cut it for hay and then sell it and we bought a lot of it and 
it's really nice feed. This is almost dairy quality, I'd say. So, they really tore out a lot, didn't they? I'll clean up what I can for the oats. Those are the bales, actually. And um, they love him, obviously. She's burying her head in it. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go over and clean up the salads on the ground from those red feeders quick, because they like to just pull it out and eat it. So these are all basically full. Fourth one's right there. And then we still got all the tires out in the field. Before this year, we'd have a bunch of the tires lined up in the yard here to kind of like this. And those bunks are so much nicer. So we have two of these wagons as well. Um, oh, they didn't even waste anything on this one. And we like them for, because you can get another day of feeding out of them at least so it's just another day added to that by themselves they just last a day so it's nice to have those because then we can feed on weekends especially now with it being warmer and um <sighs> so it makes it gives us another day of relaxing during the week feed on the weekend and pretty basic so i'm gonna clean up the salad and then Go look at the tires which they look full maybe i won't look out there because that last line i can still see salad yeah i'm just gonna go through more after this so today we're just doing normal chores and during normal chores we just do we do a walk around and that's where legit i walk around and check everything scrape up salads like i did Ooh, i forgot that fork good thing i said that i gotta grab that fork and um and then I'll walk through the barn here, check waters, or fountains, I guess. And then I'll go fill up the pails. That way, I don't have to start the truck, stop it, start it again. This way, I can just get here, shut it off. It'll take me a little while to get done. And then I'll go start it again, fill up pails, feed pails, and then go home. So, yeah. Hi girls. These beautiful black heifers. As you can tell, we uh, all of our heifers, we have pink tags and all of our steers will have green ones. Now that cow, we get we did that before. We um we did that before we did this whole process of green and pink tags. So let's get to feeding, shall we? Girls. Well, everyone, that'll be it for today, so uh, thanks for watching.